All right, welcome to part 20. Should be getting close to the end of the game now uh, where we actually get to a point of stopping the Emperor. Um, but let's go ahead and deal with this anomaly. Anomaly? It's my hardest word, guys. I can't say the word. <laughs> anomaly. There we go. Right, so we got a little puzzle, of course. But... Um, yeah, this looks a lot more difficult. Uh, we'll put this there. Okay. Nice, so that these guys can run over this way. Right, and we'll get the spheres. Or the spheres, sorry, spheres. <laughs> as quickly as possible. So we got that electric one over there, which is working that. We'll have that one here. We'll get this one here. And there's just one more up there. So let's figure out how to get it first before we solve the puzzle. Oh. Yes. Uh, let's put this here. This will drag this down. Nice, okay. Can I cheese this? Okay, so that's another heavy one. I want to take this heavy one away. And then I'm wondering if I can just jump over there. I think I can, you know. And now give me an electric one. Nice. Let's go. But I feel like I should thank my possibilities for helping me learn about dimensionality. I'm not really sure what that button did though. Oh, it changed the direction. Okay, so they go that way. Then they go there. Okay, and then that's it. I can just put the elect the electric on there, right? I guess that's an easier way to do it. Yeah. I feel like there's a whole puzzle where you can use the heavy ones. That made it so much easier, because standing from here, right, You, if you don't put the button on, then you have to put two heavy spheres here, and they go across this way, and then... Yeah, I don't know. I think that was the only way to solve it, to be honest. Jumping over there and then using the electrics one. But nice, one out of three. Let's keep it moving. to understanding everything okay and knowing how to save the dimensions that changes direction and we need heavy one over there okay this does what changes direction this way okay so let's go and get the spheres that we can I think we need to break them because there's more spheres in there so let's get this left one yeah, these puzzles are like much more in depth, much harder compared to the other ones, which is good. Hiding the dimensional map in an anomaly is quite ingenious. Well done, Gary. Um, can I just put that there? Can I use it myself just quickly? Okay, nice. Speed one, right? Cool. So that speed one will allow us to break through. Oh. I didn't mean to throw it over there, but we managed to throw it over there anyway, regardless. Okay, so let's break through this one by turning them to the left. I love how that um, possibility is like stuck there. Okay, nice. A good way to weigh things down. And then what I can do myself is put a lift one there and use a speedy one, get lifted up and break it. If the Emperor gets nice. A hold of the dimensional map, he could spread his terror wherever he pleased. He could take over everything. Awesome. All right, so we need them to go straight here. Um, we need them to go over that. So I probably need to use a combination of a speed one because I got one heavy, one speed, and two lift, right? So I can put like a lift one there and then put a speed one. Whoops. Speed one there, lift one there. So they fly all the way over there. Okay, cool. And then I can use this, right? Which should turn the platform. Nice. But they actually land up there. Okay, nice. And then... They die to that thing. So what do we have? We've got a heavy one and we've got a lift one. So I can use a lift, right? And get them over it, maybe? No, okay. Uh... 
Can I weigh that thing down? I don't think so. Oh, I can. Yeah, there we go. Weigh it down. Put this here and then put the lift on there. And then we're sorted. Nice. Okay, not nice. Okay, yeah, no, it's working. All right, two out of three. Let's go ahead and do the last one now. This may be it, the final puzzle. The knowledge is tickling the back of my mind. The final puzzle, Clank says. So final glitch level, final puzzle. Yeah, definitely coming up to near the end of the game, I guess. Let's go ahead and figure out how we get all these ones first. So we'll get this electric one first. This should keep the energy up. Then we'll go this way. So we can get this lift one. This is where Ratchet would tell himself to take a deep Nice. I must keep in mind that I have gotten this far, and statistically speaking, I am just as likely to succeed now. Okay. Um The button brings down this one, right? So I got a lift one and I have an electric one. The electric one can go up there, I guess. How do I get up there, that's the question. Oh, I see, so what I can do, let's go back using an electric one and have a look at the situation. So if we use the lift one, right, we can make sure that these guys are able to we'll lift them here because i think that will push them right over to this section no okay it won't they need to be a bit closer so we we'll use the lift on here instead and then i'll go over here get electrocuted right and then they'll go on the button nice and while they're on the button we can get this one and then we can cancel that and that will allow us to shoot up okay and then we can use the electric one to get over here to get this one. I can do this. I will do this. Right, so we've got most of them now. We just need to figure out how to get the rest. <laughs> um, so far we can make them jump. Um, we need to get up there as well. I guess we can use the speed one, right? If we speed and then lift, they'll go further up. Nice, and so can I. So I'll go ahead and do that as well so I can see a little bit better up there and see what's going on. Nice. Okay, when they're up here, let's, there's an electric one. Let's you take the electric sphere thingy. Oh, where's my, oh, there it is, okay. Electric, we'll use it to go over here, get the next lift one. Okay. So now they're up here and they drop, but they can't really change direction. They'll just go in a straight line. So they don't really need to go up here, I don't think. Whoops, let's take that. Let's take that. So what we need them to do is just go in a straight line from the start, right? Can we, can we do like a double lift? No, I don't think that works. Okay, what I'm thinking of <laughs> doesn't work. Let's use the heavy one. Whoops. Let's see what happens. So obviously they're heavy though. Oh, they do drop down there. Okay, cool. So they drop down straight there. That's perfect. Once that happens, we can then use the lift one there. So they'll go over, electric one there, and we're good. Awesome. Clank. Clank is all knowing now. Ratchet, I did it! Hooray! Now hand it here so I don't have to send your friend's head to Torrin 4. 
Don't worry. I'll be hosting a viewing party of my victories. It's all Come on, kid. Prison. We get a... <laughs> Run. Run? This is our last chance to stop him! Sorry. All right, so obviously a lot of stuff happened there. We managed to finish the last puzzle, which is cool, and um, get the map. But then obviously Rivet and, sorry, obviously Ratchet and Clank get captured by the Emperor, which kind of sucks, and the map gets taken away, and then you realize, if you hadn't realized already, that Kit was actually the person that took or destroyed Rivet's arm that whole time. Really, really big part of the story. A little bit sad. A, a lot of bit sad, even. Ooh, Revitanium. I saw it on my map, so I'm trying to kind of go for it. Close to the prison. It's all starting to come back to me. Can I not shoot it? Is the Revitanium really that strong? Oh, okay. I can just throw my wrench. That was easy. So a whole rocket can't kill it, but a wrench can. I like it. So now we're on Viceron or Visron, um, where I guess his rescue everyone from Zondor prison. Okay, this is where the prison is, because everyone just got captured by the Emperor and Nefarious. Now we're going to save them. It's weird just having right Rivet on her own, to be honest. No one on her back. Everyone kind of just, you know, all over the place right now. It's that on. Hmm. Okay, let's pay her a visit. Headhunter, the cold snap, the drill hound. We'll get the drill hound now, because why not? It's only 10,000 bolts. Looking at upgrades, uh, we'll fully upgrade the Peacemaker, 100%. Max ammo increased. Uh, homing rocket, which is pretty good. Increased mini rocket count by one. Not really sure what that does. Um, a mini rocket, micro rocket, sorry. Oh, okay, I guess that's just maybe just total amount. We'll get Doom Blades up as well, because they're almost done. Why not? And then we'll get the... Mm, the Bombarda, no, this, no. Um, the black hole storm. Yeah, we can do that. We'll upgrade everything. Decrease the time it takes to spin up. 
Uh, when the heat gauge goes beyond 50%, all shots deal more damage. Okay, it's pretty good. Nice, we'll leave it there for now. A couple of upgrades for ourselves. Got the drill hand finally as well. Not my preferred gun. That's the drill hand. You can see it kind of like shoots a, a, dr a drill on the ground and it pops up and explodes. I mean, it's a decent gun. We'll go this way just to get the gold ball, it looks like, based on the map. Nice. And some Revitanium. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, gold boat should be yeah, this way. That's a phase through those things because obviously we're an enemy. But nice, pretty easy. Nice. All right, let's keep it moving. I don't think there's anything else here that we can get right now. Okay. Platform. Thank you very much. Should allow us to get over... Over somewhere. Oh, okay. This just allows us to get over here. So this is where we were supposed to go, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay, nice. Looks like there's a slingshot. Nice. Uh, more drill hand. Why not? They're getting more butter out. I don't know if they can see me from over here. I think they can. They can. Okay. Good job we don't fall off the map. Okay. Let's try and not take damage, maybe. This guy's still alive. Only thing I don't like about the gun. Kind of inaccurate sometimes. Um, we'll get Doomblades out. Because a lot of my guns are maxed out, we'll probably start just cycling between a lot of them. As the enemies become harder and there's tons of them. Alright, let's keep it moving. Yeah, that uh, monster's here. Which, Rivet's right, should be somewhere else, but it's followed us, fortunately for us. Yay! Nice. Um, can I go this way? I can. Ooh. Like something's down here, some Rotanium at the very least is pretty nice. Okay. Kind of a, a little bit of a maze in the uh, in the pipe pipe work here. What does that do? Oh, there we go. Okay, hit clank. Let's see what's this way first before we continue through there. Uh, just the raritanium. Okay. Nothing this way, nothing here. This way, or oh, this way. Ooh, here's the spy bot. Nice. Pretty easy spy bot. Can see it on the map as well. Bro, this bounty ain't worth it. We gotta 
break out of here. Dude, your biceps would never fit through that. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. Complimenting each other. Bit lost there. Um, is there anything else? No, okay. So I guess we can come down here. But before we go down, we'll just go ahead and send some friends down. Just in case there's any enemies that they can deal with. It doesn't look like there's any enemies. Wow, that's a lot of people. Look at all the things they've captured. All the different types of, all different types of enemies we fought and stuff. Kind of crazy. That's Clank. Hey, Clank. Okay. Let's go ahead and turn this and release. Clank, hopefully. Or at least everybody. Okay, nice. Just sit your friends that way. If you need backup. Take care of them. And thanks. We'll take it from here. <sighs> you scared me. I'd let you rest, but we don't have a lot of time. You can't hear quickly. Thank you. Alright, let's do this. Got some enemies spawning in, of course. Why would we not? Go ahead and deal with them pretty quickly. Awesome. Mavitanium! Oh, okay. Looks like we're gonna have a little bit of fun here, huh? Nice. Free ratchet and. Yeah, yeah, they're stuck in there. Okay, it's not good. Let's get Miss Fungal out. Let's get this out. Yeah, they're getting taken away. Taken away, even. English is difficult, guys, alright? I keep telling you. Hard language, man. Anywho, we've got to ricochet out now. Take out these sniper bots, hopefully. Nice. Take a lot of damage, don't they? There we go. Okay, I'm not sure what happened to that shot, but it's okay. Okay, two shots with the Peacemaker. Can't really hit it because that wall's in the way. Let's see if there's anything else up here and then we'll just go ahead. Oh, there's a gold bolt here. Okay. Nice. I think that's number 20, right? Nice, yeah, 20. Awesome. So for anyone who doesn't know, I didn't really explain it, but the gold bolts actually unlock like certain things. So usually in Ratchet and Clank you have you get skill points. And you get gold bots as well. The gold bots usually are for skins, I think. But uh, skill points usually are unlock cool stuff. So like you can have uh, a big head or like unlimited ammo or certain types of weird things in the games or cool perks. And the gold bots are what do that in this game. Um, so we can we can definitely cycle through those maybe at the end. All right, now we've got to free our friends. Sorry I left you behind back there, Bolts. Things got complicated. I understand. Don't really have that much ammo. No, Just check and see if there's anything around before we move on. We're gonna let the uh the little bots do their work as well. Ow. Nice. I don't think there's anything else here for me to collect. A little bit of raritanium, which is kind of nice. Uh, just check the map. Yeah, a little bit more raritanium over there as well. A little bit further up. Okay. 
Hey, buddy. These things in the in the way are kind of a pain. Oh, but they can shoot for it. Okay, cool. That's nice. They can shoot for it, but I cannot. More titanium. Let's go. Oh, hey guys. Ah, this looks fun. Running into a little bit of an ammo problem. And these guys coming behind us, well, don't help. Nice, nice, nice. Collect all the bolts. It's a lot of bolts, man. Some health, nice, I like it. Running into a little bit of an ammo problem. Uh, we need to help. Free ratcheting kit, yeah. We're coming, buddies. Let's get this. There's like a boss over there. Fun. Transfer manager. Huh. Okay, this doesn't look good. I don't really have any ammo for my better guns right now, unfortunately. Um, so we're going to have to really use what we have. Nice. Miss Fungal. Nice. Looking decent. Uh, get this back out. Stun him up. Get the executioner back out, I think. Executioner's gonna be really good here. Yeah, there we go. That damage is crazy. Okay. Man, I'm really looking kind of rough now, guys. I have to kill him with a wrench, you know. There we go. Wrench action. Let's go. Wrench actually does some decent damage. I wonder if you can actually uh, complete the game with wrench only. But anyway, managed to kill the boss. Nice stuff. Not anything else around here. Let's go ahead and tether onto the sail. It's Clank said. Okay, nice. It must be very worried about all of this. Uh oh, not good. I'll be honest. Kit is the warbot who took off my arm. Oh dear. Um, I. Yeah. Anyway, that's what's wrong. Okay, so Rivet told uh, told Clank about the whole you know whole situation with Kit and everything. Uh, it's pretty rough. We really need to look for some ammo, but for now, guys, we'll end that part there where we're on our way to go ahead and save Ratchet and Kit at the moment. Um, and then yeah, man. By the way, this looks really really nice. Really really cool design. Really feels kind of evil as well, like the Emperor's Lair, but. Either way, guys, I'll go ahead and catch you guys in part, I think, 21. And we should, like I said, we should be wrapping up the game soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part.